Good afternoon, I'm Dwayne. Uh, we are going to talk about our 9000 series forage harvester with the 772 corn head. Uh, this is our 772 corn head. It is the big drum head. This is a 30 foot head, we'll do 12 rows of corn. The way it's designed, you can also do whole crops with it. Um, we do also make this large drum head in three other models from six row up to 12. So you've got the six, the eight, the 10, and the 12. Anyway, this head does have the tungsten carbide coated blades, cutting blades down here. Uh, you can just see the tips of them right there. They are self-sharpening for long life. We do also have cleaners on our fingers to help keep the crop cleaned out. There are special cleaners on the bottom side that we cannot see. And what those bottom ones do, they've got two functions. Number one, they clean. They keep the top of the gear head head clean and the bottom of the drum clean but they also damage the top of the crop that you just cut and what that does it helps that stock break down quicker but it does save tires on the forage harvester as well big plus for that let's move over to our windrow pickup right quick This is our 649 windrow pickup. We do offer two other sizes, the 639 and the 659. Uh, the 659 windrow pickup at 14.8 feet is the largest pickup in the industry. Nobody else has one that big. We do offer Duraline packages with this head. The life of the Duraline products are about four to five times longer than the standard products. The auger, the tines, the guards, the strippers on the back of the head, those are all Duraline for long life. The trash net is there. It's a full covering trash net. It's there to keep crop inside the head. I mean, that's your money out there. You don't want to lose it falling out of the head. Our roller baffle and compression plate, they keep the windrow pushed down for even feeding. We have larger pivoting gauge wheels on front. Let that head follow ground contour smooth and easy. Talking about our forage harvester for a little bit, we have got automatic header coupling down there. As soon as you connect to the head, the PTO connects itself automatically. You do not have to get down in the dirt and connect it manually. Also along with that, when you connect the multi-coupler for the hydraulic and electrical on the head, it, the machine knows what head this is. It has automatic head recognition no matter which head you connect, the machine knows what it is and the settings in the cab will connect, set itself for that head. Our drive system for our cutter head is belt driven. On the 9900, it's a 9V belt that runs from the gear case up here to the front. Knife sharpening system, top of the line knife sharpening system. We have hydraulic feed roll dampening, which we've got the springs to hold the feed rolls down onto the crop mass, but then the hydraulic cylinder will dampen uneven loads. So our feed rolls are not bouncing up and down. Down here, very difficult to see, but we have four object protection. The wiring harness here, there is a metal detector inside that lower feed roll. You get a very small piece of metal coming into your crop, those feed rolls will stop instantly, saving the cutter head, blower, and stuff like that. 
as soon as that stops, if you've got a grass head on there, the auger and the trash net pick up automatically so you can get in there and pick that metal out. We also have knock sensors in that as well. And those are for stones. If you get any stones in there and they start rattling around, it will also shut off feed rolls as well. So you can get, get those cleaned out. Moving around, around the machine, The machine is driven with a ProDrive transmission, which we've had the ProDrive transmission out for many years. Very reliable. It's infinite speeds. As you push it forward, there is no shifting. You don't feel any shifting. And it's infinite speeds from zero all the way up to road gear. We can also install a power rear wheel drive for the muddy days. Forge harvesters seem to have a lot of muddy days. Our spout, we've got the high curve spout with extensions to get out for a 30 foot head. And also, if you'll notice that green sensor up there, that is vision track, what we call vision track. As a truck pulls up underneath the forage harvester, that will measure the truck bed and take, kind of take a picture of it. And then it will automatically move your spout to fill that truck as you're going through the field. This is the Liebier D9512 V12 24 liter engine. It is two six cylinder engines basically connected at the hip. We've got dual air systems, dual exhaust systems, dual fuel systems. This engine has a thousand hour service interval. You can run this machine a thousand hours before you need to change oil. 956 horsepower in this model. A lot of ponies there. Coming on around, we've got a factory built in air compressor. That air compressor takes care of three things. Um, number one, we use air for the def system and the exhaust for the final tier four engine. Number two, we're using air to lubricate, to push oil to lubricate the bearings on our KP, on the extreme KP. And the third thing, we've got air couplers around the machine. You can connect an air hose, blow it off. Our hydraulic tank above it and our hydraulic pumps and valves are right in here. We have our service compartment with our air intake for the radiator on top. So we're always bringing in clean air into the radiator out the back across the engine. Our KP fits right down inside of there and we've got a movable grab grass chute and KP. It takes about 10 minutes to swap from a KP to a grass chute. This is the Deer Extreme KP. This does have the oil lubricated bearings. We've got oil lines on each bearing and there's a constant mist of oil going on those bearings. We also have heat sensors on each, all four bearings, and those heat sensors are monitored inside the cab. The rolls on this one, these are the extreme cut rolls. We do offer the sawtooth or the extreme cut on the extreme KP. Coming on around, we have our IV lock, which IV lock is infinite variable length of cut. We can change our cut sizes on the go from roughly three millimeter up to 28 millimeter. It's hydraulically driven, so the oil flow changes a little bit, our length of cut changes, which is just slowing down the feed rolls or speeding up the feed rolls. The faster the feed rolls are spinning, the shorter crop you get, 
The slower they're spinning, the longer cuts you get. This is the cab of the 9900 Forge Harvester. One of the nicest cabs in the market. It's large, very comfortable. We offer a couple of different displays to go here. If you do not want the 2630, we can put the 4640 display there. Our controls, very easy to use. All machine controls on the hydrostat handle. Your header up, down, your spout rotation, auto track, header engagement. You've got throttle and rear wheel drive here, air conditioning, radio, and then some diagnostics up here. We do offer windshield wipers all the way around on all four windows for those dirty conditions. If you have any interest or questions on this, call your local American Implement dealer and we will be happy to let you run one and demo one no matter what crop you've got alfalfa or corn or triticale wheat leach, we can fix you up with one thank you